Hello everyone and welcome to a new video in our modeling analysis and design of highway bridges. As you can see from all this loud noise, we are on a field trip today. And I want to show you some of the most important um, components of a highway bridge. You can see that this is the highway bridge, it's approaching, turning all the way to the left. So with that being said, and with all this noise, sit back, relax, turn on the noise cancellation and enjoy the show. Now, you see that the carriageway here is going up, but uh, this doesn't mean anything. So far, although the road is going up, it is still being supported by the soil beneath it. We are not yet in the bridge section. Now please notice that my voice is gonna be a little bit high because I don't know how good the recording is gonna be because I'm recording under noise and windy conditions. But let's check that out. So, why do I say that the part of the road so far is not a bridge? Because the road, the carriageway is being carried by the soil because it's not in the air. You can see this, and actually this is, a, this is an almost finished construction site. You can see this by looking to the side. I mean, if you look here, you can see that there are retaining walls and those retaining walls retain something, which is basically soil. So yeah, we are gonna take a look on that. We are so far still uh, in the supported place of the bridge. <clears throat> so far the bridge has not started yet. Now, as you might know, the bridge starts an abutment and continues over piers and ends at an abutment. I will be trying to cover how those abutments look, how the elastomer bearings look, how the piers look, and if there's any expansion joint, I will try to show it to you, or structural joint. This is going to be a short video because it's a field trip. We are approaching the start of the bridge because as you can see the retaining wall is coming to an end. Due to privacy concerns I'm going to try to avoid showing any people in my video. So you will see me awkwardly pitching up sometimes. This is the start of the bridge. We are now officially in the bridge section. You can see that the abutment has started here. That is the abutment. I love it. Now you are in the bridge section. You can see that the bridge is a box girder. And this is the start of the bridge. Everything after that is a bridge and that's the abutment. I'm gonna try to find if I can see the elastomers from an angle here. I don't know, I have to see. Now one thing that I want to mention is that you also have to make sure that you are able to uh, have some wastewater, some, some drainage system installed. Now, uh, yeah, I'm trying to see if the elastomers are visible. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they are well hidden. Well, you can see that the bridge is curving and there are some piers. You can see this is a pier. And from the looks of it, I think this is a pier with an elastomer bearing. Now, there are some piers which are rigidly cast with a bridge for stability issues, and I'll have to show it to you. This is a pier that has an elastomer, so it's not cast uh, rigidly. But this pier, this one, this one is cast rigidly, as you can see. There is no elastomer, and uh, pardon my shaky hands, there is no elastomer bearing, and this pier is cast rigidly with a bridge for stability. Now at the final stage here, you can see, maybe if I just try to find it, let me see, there we go. You can see a construction joint here. This is because of uh, thermal uh, stuff. And yeah, this is a short field trip to show you a bridge in real life just that you know that hey this is stuff that you will see a lot so let me recap very quickly 
average starts with an approach slab. This one has a very long approach slab. And the approach slab is basically... Now, there are definitions. I know that I might be, like, not being accurate in all those definitions. For me, the approach slab is everything that is above the retaining walls, but still on the ground. Like, this entire segment here is supported by the ground. Then, the abutment starts, which is your first support. The, the bridge goes over the abutment. You have some piers. And you have, of course, if, not, not every, not every bridge has a rigid pier. But if need be, you might need to provide a pier that is rigidly connected to the bridge. Other piers are basically connected to the elastomer bearing. So it's, I'm, I'm unable to see the elastomer bearings. I wish I could, but I think, yeah, sorry about the noise. I think this accomplishes my mission today. So it's rather a short uh, presentation, but it's a necessary one just to show you how bridges are actually constructed in real life so that we can connect and try to use this knowledge in explaining that. So yeah, one That's second it. before I finish, I was on the hunt for elastomer bearings and I found another bridge. And with elastomer bearings, I actually can touch. So this is another curved bridge. Once again, it's a box girder. And uh, I don't see any rigid, uh, rigidly connected piers here. All the piers seem to be on bearings. Well, that's another thing, I guess. It's also a shorter bridge than the first one. But you can see that all the, all the bridge is on elastomer bearings. There are no rigidly connected joints. And those are the elastomer bearings I'm gonna visit. So let's take a look on that. Um, I feel that today I am on a bridge hunt, actually. Maybe you can see this now, I hope you can. Those are the cylindrical elastomer bearings. Uh, there is even a very close abutment I can go take a look at, so let's go there. This one. And I think we can take a very close look at the elastomer bearing there. Of course, that once again is the abutment. Of course, here the abutment is quite low. It's not very high on the ground. And let's take a look. Now, somehow I have to edit this inside the video because I already bid you adieu in the other video. So uh, it's going to be a weird transition. But well, let's take a look. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's very, very promising. That is indeed very, very, very promising. Yeah, this is the elastomer bearing. And there is a door for maintenance. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the bearing I'm talking about. It's very hard to see, but this here, I cannot, I will not put my finger there. This is squishy. And that's an elastomer bearing for you. Of course, there are some layers that are not visible for you. Also, this strange thing is here. Not really sure about that. Gotta check out what the function of this thing is. But well, this is the last time I'm bearing for you. This one. So yeah, that is basically everything I wanted to talk about today. It's a rather short video. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, before I finish, I want to give a real life size shout out to my dear channel members in the contributor level and the helper level whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them in the middle of all of this noise for the support. As uh, support of the channel is priceless to me and enabled me to provide you with videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality I try to achieve and for that I am forever thankful. Uh, as per usual, I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial. If you have enjoyed the video, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and so on. Especially subscribing, because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel. I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.